the Kiwis first defeat. Movie Town were among those who welcomed the Belgian soccer team to these shores and incidentally discovered that Joseph Mamon was a good prophet. We have to play a very good game and uh, and to win if it is possible, but I think not. You think not? Uh, I think not. I, I think not. There were surprises at Wembley, however, the chief one being the warm rig worn by the English team when they came out for the usual pre-international ceremony. This time it was a question of meeting Mr. Apley. After shedding their disguises on the field and winning the toss, England soon got going, and it wasn't long before it became clear that they were the better side. England's famous right winger Matthews, number seven, was on the job in spite of flu, and by the way, he was setting up a record by playing in his 44th international. After Albert Brown had scored England's first goal in the first quarter of an hour, the home team followed up a few minutes later. This time it was Jesse Pye playing his first international. That was all the scoring, but the camera used the interval to record the presence of members of the British government and the president of UNO, Mr Spark. They must have found it pretty cold, and I don't know how much they could see in the second half. The match was almost fog-bound towards the end, and François Dana in goal had a busy time. Somehow he seemed to sense the ball, even without the use of radar. Anyway, he kept it out. <laughs> 